Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the Third with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 302. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy-related headlines, which point towards the Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up, according to the Associated Press, Syria and Iran have threatened to retaliate against Israel for its air raid near Damascus. The Syrian ambassador to Lebanon said Damascus has the option to retaliate. He stated that he cannot predict when the retaliation will occur and said it is up to the relevant authorities to prepare for it. In Iran, the deputy foreign minister was quoted as saying that the raid on Syria will have significant implications for the Israeli city of Tel Aviv. Second today, according to the Washington Post, Russia has joined Lebanon in condemning Israel's airstrike on an arms convoy inside Syria. Hezbollah, which is closely aligned with both Syria and Iran, condemned the airstrike as barbaric aggression and expressed full solidarity with Syria's army and people. Russia, Syria's chief patron, said the strike would constitute unprovoked attacks on targets in the territory of a sovereign country which blatantly violates the UN Charter and is unacceptable, no matter the motives to justify it. Third today, according to the Associated Press, a magnitude 6.8 earthquake shook offices, toppled supermarket shelves, and broke windows in north-central Chile, where people fled some buildings in panic. A 50-year-old woman died of a heart attack attributed to fear during the earthquake. Authorities said that damage was limited and discounted the possibility of a tsunami. Fourth today, according to Ynet News, a United Nations fact-finding mission says the Israeli government's settlement policy has violated the rights of Palestinians. The panel's report to the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva says the settlements exist for the exclusive benefit of Israeli Jews, creating a system of total segregation. The investigators called on Israel to halt settlement expansion and withdraw all Jewish settlements from the West Bank. According to the Associated Press, the United Nations Nuclear Agency has told member nations that Iran is poised for a major technological upgrade of its uranium enrichment program. The move would vastly speed up Tehran's ability to make material that can be used for both reactor fuel, and nuclear warheads. Iran's nuclear agency has plans to install high-technology centrifuges at its main enriching site. 
the machines are estimated to be able to enrich up to five times faster than the present equipment. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 4, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, may I encourage you to get to know Him today. To do so, please understand that you are a sinner just as I am and that you have broken God's laws just as I have. We all have. <clears throat> the Bible says we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you. And he does not want you to be separated from him forever in hell. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell. Rather, you will be able to live eternally in heaven with God. Now, dear friend, if you believe right now in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, shed his blood on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again by his power, and you want to invite him into your heart today, please pray with me this simple prayer and mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some evil things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come in to my heart today and save my soul and change my life forever. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, you are now saved from hell, and uh, you are on your way to heaven, and the devil cannot stop you. Welcome to the family of God, dear friend. I want to congratulate you on receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to GospelLightSociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10:9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Now in closing, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two, Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer also of John the Revelator, when he said, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. You got to get your business straight